course, on a show called The American Dream, you got to talk about the real estate game. But I love getting into niche expertise. Joining us out of Beverly Hills, Kofi Narte. You are with Compass. You're an author of Celebrity. You got a $60 million listing, mm-hmm. and you're coaching realtors on luxury real estate and helping celebrities sell their home and more, right? So That's thanks for coming on the show. Of course. It's great All to right. be here. So Greg. let's dive right in, man. I mean, sure. every, everything about what you do is cool and sexy, right? Uh, working with celebrities, luxury real estate, it's just, it's something that I think entertains just about everybody. Right. And it's obviously your profession and your business. So talk about that, working in the luxury real estate market out of right. Beverly Hills. How is it? Well, first, uh, it's cool and sexy on the surface. Yeah. Right? yeah. <clears throat> like cool, calm, and collected, like the duck on water. But uh, we're, we're peddling every single day, yeah. you know, working with not only celebrity clients, but high net worth individuals, high expectations. We're working with their gatekeepers, the business managers, the wealth managers. And when people operate and function at that level, their, their expectations of service are also elevated. Sure. So we have to be able to step up and step into that seamlessly. Okay, so explain how you do step up, because sure. selling a median price home is probably a different approach than your recent $60 million listing. Right. How do you step up? Well, first, it's, it's understanding their lifestyles. Right. And so if you haven't had exposure, you want to gain that exposure just so you can manage their expectations. When you reach a certain level in any industry, a lot of things are taken care of for you. Right. Even with the celebrities, they have craft services on set. They have people driving them places. They get to show up and just focus on what they need to focus on. So for us, it takes a level of understanding of the market. So the first thing is trust. And trust comes from understanding the market. Sure. Knowing that you have the expertise, knowing that you have the integrity. And everyone who's, who's part of my team and part of our even our sports and entertainment division now has been vetted to not only have real estate experience, but specific experience working with people in sports and entertainment. Right. So you're very well niched. Mm -hmm. Uh, You're talking about that market expertise. What about marketing expertise, right? Right. Taking a a multi-million dollar property to market, what's the approach to get the right eyeballs and of course, anyone who's selling their home, it's top dollar. How do we do that? It's a process. Um, one, you have to understand who your target demographic is. A lot of things that we talk about in real estate pertain to other industries, but we apply them to real estate and we apply them to selling the story of a property. Sure. Right? I'll repeat that because that's really a big part of it. Yep. Selling the story of the property. So who are you selling that story to? Who is the home appropriate for? How do you articulate that in a way where the buyer can see themselves, hear themselves, smell themselves living in that specific property? So how do you do it? Video, I assume? Well, a lot of it is, one, even understanding the property itself. So we tour the property. We ask the clients to tell us stories about living there. It's it's something a lot of agents don't do. Mm -hmm. You know, you go, you look at the four walls, you look at the bedrooms, you have the specifics. But I want to know what it was like to live here. And as they're telling me that, I'm translating that into a story that I can then tell prospective buyers. Got it. Then we capture the story, right? We capture the story through the photography, professional photography, day, night, twilight, the sexy shots, then the videos, all of the things that capture the essence essence of that story and then we use that for the marketing. Now, when you get it out, how important is digital and social in today's world? It's more important than ever. Yeah. Um, and it's continuing to grow in the different vehicles through social, the different vehicles through digital. Um, we have to stay on top of that. We have to meet our clients where they are. Don't you right? feel like a lot of agents ignore it or romanticize about the past? Oh. And kind of skip the fact that this is where, you know, it shouldn't even be called social media anymore. It should right. be called the internet. This is right. where commerce happens right. and it's certainly critical for real estate, don't you think a lot of agents skip over that? I think that it's not necessarily that they skip over it. I think they're a little bit unaware of yeah. how important it is, and some of them have challenges transitioning. Mm-hmm. So they use it as an excuse more so than skipping over it. They say, I, think, oh, well, I think I framed that as romanticizing about Romanticizing, the exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. They, they say, well, you know, I'd rather just meet with someone in person, or I'd rather, you know, um, um, call somebody. I'm referral-based, I'm all right. relationship. No right. one's suggesting that real estate's not a relationship business, but right. now there's more connectivity than ever before. <laughs> exactly. And you're tra- attracting, in many cases, international buyers, right. cash buyers. You've got to right. get the word out in a different way than Totally to. different way, and it's important to utilize that technology. Um, I, I, I use the term tech lux, right? It's technology supporting the luxury experience. Yep. And you don't lose the, the connection with people, but 87% of home searches start online. Yep. So you have to be online. You have to have that presence. I mean, it's kind of why I wear two watches, right? I have the tech, lu- tech and then I have the lux, right? See this? <laughs> That's a, <laughs> it's it's my it, daily man. reminder. Got Plus it. my wife bought me this one, so you know. Love it. All right, well, go. then you got to wear it. Got to right? wear it. So you've written this book, Celebrity, yes. right? Tell us a little bit about that. 
Sure. So I've been in real estate for 15, 16 years now, and um, about 11 of those years I've focused on sports and entertainment as a niche. So sure. the book Celebrity, S-E-L-L-E-B-R-I-T-Y, is how to build a successful sports and entertainment-based business. And I wrote it really for any industry. If you want to focus on selling to celebrities, athletes, mm. entertainers, you have to understand certain principles, certain techniques, and that's probably the number one call that I get and email that I get. How do you break into you know, celebrity and luxury real estate? So I wanted to write a book that I could share with people. A lot, a lot of people try and break in, right. but they're unable to. Correct. So what I like about it is you mentioned that it's not just the real estate vertical. These are other, it's a kind of a B2B book yes. that you're helping other business professionals understand maybe the mindset, uh, the approach, and Correct. the execution on right. working with these high-class athletes. Exactly. What are some good takeaways? Why should someone read the book? Um, I think... One, if you're trying to work with celebrities sure. and high net worth individuals, there's going to be a lot of takeaways. Two, um, I went to business school while I was in real estate. Okay. And I did that because of the level of clients that I was looking to service and what I wanted to bring to those clients. Wow. So interspersed throughout the book are a lot of just business practice, practices, marketing techniques, things that anyone can use in any industry. So, And then three, it's a short book. I mean, I wrote it myself. I didn't have a ghostwriter, and uh, that's Good, between, between full-time business, two kids. I don't even kids. know if that registered with people, <laughs> but I mean, if you're gonna write a book, write the damn book. Right, you know, the, right. the ghostwriter thing, there's just so much phoniness out there. I'm glad you actually wrote the book, big yeah. or small. I know it's uh, from personal experience, you're sharing 100%. your story, 100%. and you got a great story. I mean, you. you're, you're dominating the game in Beverly Hills. You're the luxury expert up there, writing books and coaching all at the same time. Appreciate you coming on the show. Of course. It's a pleasure Find being him here, on Craig. social media and the two watches. Come on. Two watches. That's a good one. Making the <laughs> wife happy. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks again. All right. More of the American Dream coming up next. <laughs>